when you're feeling low, when you're low vibration, mentally, you change your physical state. Your mental state will automatically change. Huh? Guess it? Because body is connected to the mind, mind is connected to the body. What kind of thoughts are you getting? That will make sure that whether your body is aligned or not. If your thoughts are positive, how would be your mental state? Positive. How would be your physical state? Positive. How would be your spiritual state? Positive. Everything is connected to thinking. Alignment happens mind, body and soul based on what kind of thinker you are. Life is a reflection of what you think constantly, right? So this also has not been taught in our school. The most important lessons of life have been missed. How should you think? What should be our thoughts? Mundane thoughts, waste thoughts, negative thoughts, and the positive thoughts. Wherever you are spending most of your time in whatever thoughts is going to be a reflection on your life. Right? If I'm thinking constantly, you know, that's why thoughts can heal your mind. It can heal your body as well. right? Because thoughts eventually will lead to a pattern. And that pattern of thoughts will become your belief system. And that belief system is going to manifest in your life. If your thoughts are, I'm not, you know, good enough. And what's going to happen over a period of time? If somebody said it or you said it to yourself, that will become not good enough. So what kind of body you'll have? Not good enough. So if you want alignment, change your thoughts, right? First three thoughts are depleter, energy depleter, draining energy. Negative is the highest energy drainer. The positive is the charging. It charges your battery. If you're not feeling well, trust me, when you're not feeling well in terms of your body, you can heal your body by just the power of thoughts. Of course, you need to take medicine and supplements and food, whatever. So that's why power of positive thought. What kind of thoughts are you getting? And interestingly, there are some ways you can change your thoughts from negative to positive by becoming more conscious. And the best way is meditation. That's why people say meditate, meditate, meditate. But in our school, we meditation not Our school did not teach us the meditation. So we were actually not educated. It did not teach us breathing. It did not teach us meditation. That's why yoga is the best form of education. What is yoga? It's the alignment of mind, body and soul. Yoga. You understand? That's why yoga was the main education for all the people growing up in ancient India. Right? Yeah, yoga means union. Union means alignment. I mean, all mind, body and soul is in union, in harmony. So use meditation as a tool, right? And come socho, positive socho. Have less thoughts and positive thoughts. Right now, what we're discussing is increasing what thoughts in your life? Positive thoughts. Because we're talking about growth. We're talking about improving, right? That is aligned towards our dharma. You're coming in alignment. And it does not happen overnight. Every day, whatever little action you take is going to align your mind, body and soul. Little bit, little bit, little bit, okay? And number three, what you eat also aligns your mind, body and soul. Look at our diets. What diet we used to have before. That's why in food, there are different types of foods. There is tamasic food and there is sattvic food. Tamasic food are full of spices, fried, oily. Those are tamasic. Rakshaso ka khana. Tamasic food. Which was spicy. Even a lot of meat is tamasic food. And we are rajas rajasic food. What is the best food which aligns your mind, body and soul? Sattvic. Because you think about this. We made of all five elements, right? Our body is made of all these elements. Fire, water, right? Air, earth. And, and food also is with these elements. Everything you see in nature is with the elements. That's why some food you eat, you feel bloated, acidic, right? If you eat too much of fried food, you feel bloated because whatever you eat is what you become. Same thing, whatever you think is what you become. If you eat a banana, banana is what you're becoming. Your body is becoming that, your mind, body and soul. And if you have those lot of thumbsick food, what kind of thoughts you get? A lot of thumbsick thoughts. The aggressive, because that spices has this nature of fire. It has the element of fire. There are some food which are very cool in nature. It has water in main essence. But cheese me sab kuch hota hai. But the water element is more. And our body is made of what? 70-80% is what? Water, right? So be conscious about what you eat because that leads to disalignment or misalignment of mind, body and soul. Right? Next one is 
which is the movement it aligns your mind body and soul we as a human being we were not meant to just be a couch potato we are the movers we are not trees we are the mammals movement is our innate nature but today because of our life and lifestyle what has happened is we've been sitting most of our time and when you do not have the movement misalignment happens that's why when you don't work out or when you don't do yoga or walking or running or some physical movement you start to get misaligned you understand and it's all three connected mind body and soul these are all the channels which is connected all three if you're feeling some day you know just try this when you're feeling low when you're low vibration mentally you change your physical state your mental state will automatically change huh guess it because body is connected to the mind mind is connected to the body and it can also happen other way around people who are not mentally fit also will not be physically fit emotional eating bolte na right when emotionally not they feeling well right physically also they keep stuffing tamsik food and not so good food the choices of food will become bad and the body is misaligned then mind is misaligned body is misaligned and then spiritually also you misaligned and when you are not thinking positive well you're not mentally well physically well how can you think of serving others how can you become more spiritual then you're not growing and you're not helping others to grow you're not spiritual then and the spiritual energy also gets misaligned but by just adding one element which is the movement into your life your mind feels happier your body feels happier your spirit also feels happier and last but not the least is how is serving connected to mind body and soul it's just the feeling that you want to serve others what kind of thought is it generating in your mind positive right by just thinking of something positive your mind feels happier your body feels happier lighter as so does your soul dene mein hi lena hai whatever you give is what you get if you want to be served serve others aur dene wala hamesha khush rehta hai zyada is the is the law of this nature or universe that the people who are the happiest are the people who give the most and the people who are most living difficult life are the people who are most takers take 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 so now if something happening in your life which is not aligned and if you're not able to progress to the level that you should then you know that kahin to misalignment hua hai either breathing is not right thinking is not right right eating is not right moving is not right or serving is not right when you have all these five these are the plugs that is charging your life i know you are a soul looking for liberation and freedom and happiness and i actually want to invite you to a unique passion pinner satsang see this is a place where we discuss about spirituality where you talk about dharma karma sanskar and i think this is one place which helps people to get rid of all the worry stress and anxiety and charge their batteries their soul power in optimum way so if you want to join us every saturday 9 am please check out the link and book your seat right now as long as it is available because we have limited seats up to 1000 and right now we are sponsoring all the people so join us in the passion pinner satsang